Hello friends, Kishan is here again and welcome you in this video tutorial. In past few videos we have learned what is, what is the flux mode in Hibernate and we had talked about the four flux mode like auto, commit, always and manual. Now last thing in this series we are going to learn flux operation order. So when Hibernate flushes the session then Hibernate follows some certain orders. Right? So you may have a, some kind of uh, insert, update and delete. So Hibernate follows some kind of order. right? And here in, the, in this bottom, in this topic, uh, plus operation order, you can see what Hibernate has given. So if you go to the Hibernate official website, then this all this, those stuff they have explained very well over here. So the action queue executes all operation in following order. So saying that, First of all, Hibernate will look into there is some orphan removal. Uh, suppose you have a parent and child relationship. So before removing the parent reference, if you try to remove the parent, then Hibernate first look into the there is any orphan or child or children is there. Then that removal happens first, right? After that, Hibernate will look into is there any insert operation? Is that is there is some insert operation then that performs. Uh, insert operation after that if and third hybrid will see the any kind of entity updates is there then that will happen and similarly rest of the order will be followed and this order basically has been defined in this class is called action queue if you go to the I mean in your uh, Eclipse and you try to search by pressing control shift T and if you go to the action queue then all the logics have been defined in this class so uh, how Hibernate is going to perform uh, flushing right so basically when we talk about the flush operation order uh, from a database perspective uh, row state can be altered using either an insert an update or a delete statement right because entity state changes are automatically converted to SQL statements it's important to know which entity actions are associated to given SQL statements. When we talk about the insert, the insert statement is generated either by either by um, the entity insert action or entity identity action and that is given over here. Right? These actions are scheduled by the persist operation either explicitly or through cascading the persistent event from a parent to child entity right now when we talk about the delete operation right in Hibernate the delete statement is generated by the entity delete action or orphan removal action right so delete is basically generated by these two action orphan removal action or uh, or uh, entity delete so there is entity delete action right now when we talk about the update operation in Hibernate, the update statement is generated by the entity update action which is over here. During flushing if the managed entity has been marked or modified. The dirty checking mechanism is responsible for determining if the managed entity has been modified since it was loaded. Hibernate does not execute the SQL statement in order of their associated entity state operation right so to visualize how this works uh, we can consider an example which is given on the top so here you can see here what happened uh, in the case here instead of entity manager if you are dealing with the uh, hibernate then you will have a session and here instead of find you can make use of the gate and here basically you are trying to remove an object from the database using entity manager if you are dealing with the hibernate you will have a session dot delete method and first operation we want the delete should happen and second operation we want uh, one insertion to be happen so here person object is slice and same we want to persist over here but if you look into the sql query generated right sql query triggered by the jpa first high uh, jpa is trying to create record and then removal happens so why this is happen so even if we remove the first entity right and then persist uh, we are trying to persist a new one 
hibernate is going to execute or hibernate or jpa is going to execute the delete statement after the insert right delete statement after the insert and why this is happen because uh, as per this order uh, first you should happen the insert and then happens the entity delete action so that's what i told you hibernate follows this order right so that's all i wanted to discuss in this video tutorial guys so even though as a programmer uh, if you do not understand these things that's fine but uh, having understanding of this concept is sometimes helpful when you are working on uh, some existing project and you have uh, some kind of issues which may uh, may be solved by the concept which you learned over here so thank you for watching this video and this is the last video in the uh, hibernate uh, flushing concept so in next video series we are going to start something new things uh, so till that thank you so much and see you in the next video tutorial